Item number, SCP-634, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-634 is to be kept in a 37.85 liter or 10 gallon tank in the center of a 10 meter by 10 meter room. The tank shall include a filtration device, an aerator, a heater set to maintain a constant temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, and an automatic feeder set to dispense 10 milliliters of standard goldfish food twice a day. Tank and walls of room will have posted message, do not put hands inside tank, at regularly spaced intervals. A team of no fewer than three D-class personnel shall be assigned to weekly replace 50% of the tank's water and clean the tank as needed. Team will be provided with constant oral instructions over the intercom system. On alternating weeks, Team will provide SCP-634 with 12 grams of uncooked meat. Description SCP-634 has the appearance of a male common goldfish, Carassius auratus, of full maturity, approximately 7 centimeters in length. SCP-634 was discovered in 2000 in Connecticut. It was housed in a two-gallon round glass tank, placed on the passenger seat of a car. SCP-634 came to the Foundation's attention when a waitress in a nearby diner noticed that the car had been parked with its emergency lights on for several hours, apparently out of gasoline, with a driver who attempted to start the car approximately once every 90 seconds. She also reported that the officer sent to investigate it had been repeating his walk from his police car to the disabled car and back for more than an hour. SCP-634 was removed from the scene by agents operating under constant prompting by a team leader, who maintained a minimum distance of 5 meters from the object at all times. Upon removal of SCP-634, behavior of the driver and officer returned to normal. Officer expressed confusion over what had happened, but otherwise was shown to have no lasting effects. Driver complained of burning sensation in right hand. He was treated for mild dehydration and loss of flesh on the first two carpals of his right index and middle fingers. Due to the effects of SCP-634, driver and officer were released after being treated and given cover stories. SCP-634 was traced to a local pet store where the driver had left his wallet. The goldfish in said store were examined and determined to be no threat but were terminated as a precautionary measure. Efforts to trace the origins of the shipment containing SCP-634 have thus far proven futile. SCP-634 affects the short-term memory and attention span of living creatures in close proximity to it. The strength of SCP-634's abilities appears to be inversely related to the squared distance from SCP-634, with negligible results after a radius of approximately 3.1 meters. The only noticeable anatomical difference between SCP-634 and a common goldfish is its small row of sharp teeth. SCP-634's bite has a coagulating effect, which minimizes blood loss. It also causes a burning sensation at the point of incision. SCP-634 does not appear to have any further ability to influence a person's mind, or otherwise influence him or her to initially put a hand in its tank. Its adaptation is generally suited for use in an area with predators, who would naturally be compelled to reach for it. Also note that SCP-634 does not influence a person's or animal's natural instincts or wants, only affecting their memory of the current context of a situation. Because of this, SCP-634 would be unlikely to stop a rampage of an SCP, which has a general inclination towards violence and a dislike of people as those behaviors would continue regardless of context. SCP-634 may be effective in reducing the damage done by a sentient SCP who has been provoked. Addendum SCP-634-1 Experiment Log SCP-634 Experiment 634-A Subject D- Subject instructed to feed SCP-634 Zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. Subject enters room and approaches SCP-634. 
24 seconds. Subject reaches SCP-634. Subject appears momentarily confused. Subject looks at fish food, nods head. 53 seconds. Subject gives SCP-634 one serving of fish food. 1 minute 24 seconds. SCP-634 finishes eating food. 1 minute 33 seconds. Subject expresses confusion over what he is supposed to be doing. 1 minute 43 seconds. Subject looks at fish food, nods head. 1 minute 55 seconds. Subject gives SCP-634 one serving of fish food. 2 minutes 16 seconds. SCP-634 finishes eating food. 2 minutes 23 seconds. Subject expresses confusion over what he is supposed to be doing. 2 minutes 41 seconds. Subject looks at fish food, nods head. 2 minutes 58 seconds. Subject gives SCP-634 one serving of fish food. 3 minutes 36 seconds. SCP-634 finishes eating food. 3 minutes 42 seconds. Subject expresses confusion over what he is supposed to be doing. Pattern repeats approximately every 70 seconds for the next 22 minutes. Experiment halted when D ran out of fish food. SCP-634 shows no signs of discomfort or injury due to the large amount of food eaten. Subject showed no lasting effects of experiment. Subject kept one month for psychological testing, showing no other signs of memory loss or impairment. Experiment 634-B Subject D Subject instructed to place hand in SCP-634's tank. Zero hours. Zero minutes. Zero seconds. Subject enters room and approaches SCP-634. Fifteen seconds. Subject becomes mildly confused at a distance of 1.5 meters from SCP-634. Pauses to check his pockets, shrugs, and continues to approach. 32 seconds. Subject reaches SCP-634. Confusion increases. Asks what he was supposed to do. Subject prompted to place hand into tank. 1 minute 4 seconds. Subject places right hand into tank. 1 minute 45 seconds. SCP-634 bites subject's index finger. Subject curses, removes hand from tank. 2 minutes 12 seconds. Subject complains of burning sensation in finger. 2 minutes 30 seconds. Subject places right hand into tank, appears to feel a decrease in pain. 2 minutes 55 seconds. SCP-634 bites subject's index finger. Subject curses, removes hand from tank. 3 minutes 23 seconds. Subject complains of burning sensation in finger. 3 minutes 48 seconds. Subject places right hand into tank, appears to feel a decrease in pain. 4 minutes and 8 seconds. SCP-634 bites subject's index finger. Subject curses, removes hand from tank. Pattern repeats approximately every 90 seconds for the next 20 minutes. 25 minutes. Subject instructed to leave. Subject walks towards door. 25 minutes, 16 seconds. Subject reaches a distance of 2 meters from SCP-634. Pauses. Audibly recalls that he was supposed to go do something to SCP-634, and turns to approach SCP-634. 2532. Subject again prompted to leave. Subject continues to be prompted until he reaches door. Subject treated for injuries to hand. Subject expresses confusion over why he would continue to repeatedly put hand in the tank when the fish kept biting him, but otherwise showed no lasting effects. Subject kept one month for psychological testing, showing no other signs of memory loss or impairment. Addendum SCP-634-2 Considering the average lifespan of the common goldfish and SCP-634's unique abilities, it may be advisable to introduce a female goldfish for breeding purposes. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-633, Ghost in the Machine, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. <laughs>